I'll tell you, the paparazzi has nothing on this crowd. <laughs> Good, evening. Good evening. I'm Dan Krusen, and on behalf of Ash and Megan's families, I extend a warm welcome to everyone. Is this not a gorgeous night, or what? Yes. I would love to take credit for it, <laughs> but us preachers are in sales and marketing, not operations and management. So we'll just give glory to God Kudos to the couple for picking such a fine day for your wedding. A friendly reminder that we ask that you turn off all cell phones and electronic devices, as your only work before you at this time is to enjoy the moment. Eternal God, our Creator and Redeemer, as you gladden the wedding at Cana in Galilee by the presence of your Son, so by his presence, now bring your joy to this wedding. Look in favor upon Ashley and Megan, and grant that they, rejoicing in all your gifts, may at length celebrate with Christ the marriage feast which has no end. Amen. Please be seated. You were born together, and together you shall be forevermore. You shall be together when the white wings of death scatter your days. I, you shall be together even in the silent memory of God. But let there be spaces in your togetherness. And let the winds of the heaven dance between you. Love one another, but make not a bond of love. Let it rather be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Fill each other's cup, but drink not from one cup. Give one another of your bread, but eat not from the same loaf. Sing and dance together, and be joyous. But let each one of you be alone, even as the strings of the lute are alone, though they quiver with the same music. Give your hearts, but not into each other's keeping, for only the hand of life can contain your hearts, and stand together, yet not too near together. For the pillars of the temple stand apart, and the oak tree and the cypress grow not in each other's shadow. And a reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. 
I have said these things that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. There we have it. Words of joy and tears of frustration all together <laughs> in life. And that's how it goes. And that's how it goes. And yet we go forward knowing that today is an incredible day. An incredible day for the promises that you'll share with one another and the promise that God makes with each of us. In fact, Megan and Ash, I want to start by sharing my favorite wedding story. And it, it has to do with children a little bit older than Bentley and Aubrey. When they witnessed their first wedding, afterwards the little boy asked the little girl, how many boys can a girl marry? And she said, 16. He said, well, how do you know this? She said, I listened to the preacher. He said, four better, four worse, four richer, four poorer, four times four... That's 16. <laughs> well, she knew her times tables, but she was not familiar with Pennsylvania state law. <laughs> Indeed, we all know what it takes to make a marriage. And that is three. A man, a woman, and the God who brought you together. The one who promises to sustain you together in this journey. So let's talk a little bit about how to turn a wedding into a marriage. I have a few words of advice. First, never doubt what love can overcome. Each of you have been through, as individuals and as a couple, so much. Many years together, time of separation, significant losses, miracle of birth. I'm even mindful that the day that you met was either on the day or close to the day of Megan's parents' anniversary, late in December. And today we have, thanks to Caitlin's dad's <laughs> excellent driving skills, the unity candle from Jim and Lori. And so there's an absence, but there is also a presence. Never doubt what love can overcome. Love can outlast our grief. Love can create a new life together. We're here today to celebrate. It is love that lasts. My second word of advice is to speak the truth in love. Now anyone who is in a relationship for any period of time realizes that to sustain that relationship, you have to learn to speak the truth in love, as hard as that is. I think of the couple who learned to do this. They were shopping in the mall, and, and they had gotten on in years, and the husband had put on some weight. And they went into a sports equipment store, and he hopped on a treadmill, and he said, Honey, if you bought me this for Christmas, I could look like I did back in high school. And his wife came over and touched him on the arm and said, Dear, it's a treadmill. It's a treadmill, not a time machine. <laughs> we need to speak the truth in love. And there will be disagreements, and that's for sure. What was it that George Burns quipped? He said, I was married by a judge, but I should have asked for a jury. <laughs> we know that there will be differences. There will be disagreements. It's, it's okay to disagree. It's not okay to be disagreeable. So see those times as opportunities to strengthen your bond with one another. And if I may, a demonstration. A demonstration that involves understanding the phrase tying the knot. Now, Caitlin and Jonathan, I know you have a wedding next year, so you might want to pay special attention to this. But do you know that tying the knot, the phrase comes from a couple hundred years ago when you would get married, in order to have a wedding bed, you would actually tie the knots. This is before box springs were made by Celia and Serta. They were made by hand, tying 
rope or twine or strings together and so that you would literally be tying them up when you got married. Well, tonight, I like the metaphor of two lives coming together. And um, I have two pieces of rope here, each individual, distinct, different, um, one more frayed than the other. I'm not going to say who is who here, but uh, <laughs> on any different day, it could be either. Uh, but the beauty of two lives coming together and being intertwined physically and spiritually and emotionally is that there is this bond of love that happens. And so when the pressures of life and the stresses and the strains that are common to every relationship happen, surrounded by love, your bond can grow strong. And that is our hope and our prayer for you, that as you tie the knot, that as life continues for you, that your bond will grow in strength and in beauty. So learn to speak the truth in love. Learn that love can overcome anything. And finally, be encouraged by goodness. It seems simple. There's so much negativity in the world. There's so much bad news out there. But there is also goodness. A force for good in the world that I would contend is God and God's spirit moving through people's lives. And we need to celebrate that goodness and be encouraged by it. You know, you have these beautiful roses here tonight. And it was an ancient Persian poet who said, how did the rose unfurl its beauty to the world? It felt the encouragement of light. We believe that God is light and love. And by God's light and love shining on you, our hope is that you will unfurl your beauty to one another as individuals and to the world as a couple. And now to him who is able to accomplish abundantly beyond all we can ask or imagine to him be glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Ashley and Megan, if it is your intention to share with each other your joys and sorrows and all that the years will bring, with your promises, bind yourselves to each other as husband and wife. And Ash, if you'll repeat these words after me saying them to me. I, Ashley Edward Becker. I, Ashley Edward Becker. Take you, Megan Lee Olseski. Take you, Megan Lee Olseski. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse, for better, or for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, or for poorer, in sickness or in health, in sickness or in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, all the days of our lives, all the days of our lives, and likewise, man. I, Megan, and you, also, I, Megan, and you, also, you, Ashley, and you, Ashley, and you, to be my wedded husband, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold. pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, whose richest blessing we invoke upon those who here pledge their love before you, sanctify the use of these rings, that the endless circle of each may be a symbol of everlasting love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.
Ashley and Megan, by their promises before God and in the presence of this gathering, have bound themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. I invite the assembly to stand for the prayers. Faithful Lord, source of love, pour down your grace upon Ash and Megan, that they may fulfill the vows they have made this day and reflect your steadfast love and their lifelong faithfulness to each other. We pray for all families throughout the world. Gracious Father, you bless the family and renew your people. Enrich husbands and wives, parents and children more and more with your grace, that strengthening and supporting each other, they may serve those in need and be a sign of your perfect kingdom. God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day those who have gone before us in faith, those whose love was instrumental in forming us and bringing us to this moment. We remember Jim Olseskin and all others and ask that you graciously unite us with them through your glorious presence. For if they, O oh God, are with you and you are with us, they cannot be far away. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now the lighting of the unity camp. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. It is my honor and privilege to present for the first time in public Mr. and Mrs. Ashley Edward Beck. Thank you.